March the 13th and it is the beginning of a new vlog so welcome to Angel's Real Life um, if this is your first time here if this is not your first time here and you are coming back welcome back so let me put this up here a little bit so y'all can see me better um i'm headed to work but before i get to work i gotta go drop off a box of problems a box of problems in this box if you can see at the bottom is a prayer that i wrote to god there's some other things buried in here uh with some dirt some dirt that i dug up from somewhere and uh to bury the problems so um yeah that's what i'm gonna do so i gotta go now and find a lake a pond a river or something to drop this box off in because i'm giving this problem to god and i'm gonna make sure that I don't pick this problem back up. So um, that's what I'm doing. I was up early this morning doing some spiritual work, doing some spiritual cleansing, uh, like I always do, you guys. If you watch my old videos, you see that I sage um, almost every morning and cleanse the house spiritually with sage and incense and prayers. And so this week I am at the beginning of a fast. So I am gonna be going from Monday to Sunday on a fast uh, because there's something that I have got working on for me. Well, I'm not gonna say, excuse me guys, I gotta make sure this camera's right. I'm not gonna say work it on. He's already fixed it, he's already worked it out. That's what I got going on. So, yeah. So, I call it my box of problems. Now, um, I'm going to go find some spot to drop it and leave it there and I'm done. When I tell y'all I done prayed about it, I'm getting ready to fast on it for seven days. I done boxed it up, buried it. And I'm done. Y'all don't understand the level of done I am with this problem. God's gonna move. I'm done. I'm done fighting. I'm done trying. I'm gonna let God handle it. That's all I gotta say. And I know some of y'all might wanna know what the problem is, but in due time and in due season, you'll find out. Especially if uh, those of you that are the problem. Uh, you gonna find out in due season <laughs> uh, so yeah that's what I'm doing I'll catch up with you guys in a minute um, so stay tuned for the rest of this vlog so I do have to work today so I need to hurry up and get to where I'm gonna go to bury this problem all right guys I'm here to the place where I am going to drop this box and uh, I have to go to work, so let me hurry up. I'll come back on camera in a second. Okay.
And that's it, I release it. All right, guys. So I just left Publix. Why is it when you go on a fast, like this week I'm on a fast and I'm not eating meat uh, from now till um, Sunday. As soon as I walk in Publix, why as soon as I go on a fast, the first temptation I have is uh, some damn fried chicken or some meat. <sighs> I'm not even a person that eat meat like that, but I went to Publix to get me some fruit, some foods from the earth to do this particular fast that God told me to do. And oh my God, as soon as I go towards the fruit aisle, all I smell is meat and chicken and barbecue. <laughs> I'm like, God is testing me. He's asking me, how bad, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it, you know? How bad you want it? How bad you want to give me your problem? What are you willing to sacrifice? Girl, I wasn't gonna put no piece of meat in my mouth for what God is about to do for me. So yeah, that was a little trial. That was a little test. <laughs> that was a, a, a test for me. That was a trial. Cause I wanted a piece of meat. I did. But that's all right um so i i did end up getting breakfast that breakfast did not include meat i'll show you guys when i get to the office what i'm gonna get it's 20 minutes until time for me to open the business so this is not normal for me i'm usually in the office on a monday about three to four hours early but i decided to stay home and do my spiritual work and and now i'm headed to the office so we're headed to the office. We're still on our way. I'll come back. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm here in the office, as you can already see. Um, anyway, I bought a denim jacket, and I cut it to make it cropped, right? You know, because we're in Florida anyway. Anyway, I'm wearing all black today. All black in this cropped denim jacket. And... Let's see if we can get the shoes. Oh yeah, there we go. These are the shoes, Tommy Hilfiger. I'm gonna get my day started. Let me flip this camera around, see if I can show y'all the outfit. It's just real simple anyway. Okay, yeah, so I cut this. Um, this is what it looks like from the side. My hair. It smells so good. It smells like vanilla and oranges. Vanilla and oranges. Anyway, guys, let me go ahead and set everything up. So, uh, let's come in here in the meditation room. And we're just going to adjust this temperature. This is what I do every morning. Got the temperature adjusted. Now we're going to come in here. And I have to get a sign in sheet because the students are going to be coming. So I'm just going to get this little sign in sheet off this clipboard. This is how I keep records. Oh, uh, give me a second. Who's in class? Off the clipboard. So this clipboard holds some of everything. All my paperwork, just a quick, quick grab. I'm gonna take this, put today's date on it. Today is the 13th. And nobody's assisting me today. I'm gonna take this to the classroom. And put it there. I don't know why these students don't push their chairs in when they leave. Anyway, so so that's how I set up in the morning. 
I'm gonna get some incense now and light incense. Let me sit y'all down for a minute. I'm trying to stain y'all up. Ugh. So, let me show you how my morning routine goes. Remember what I told y'all I'm on the fast? These is breakfast, blackberries. A banana. And a strawberry shortcake parfait. That's gonna be my breakfast today. So, give me a second. What I do next? What I do next is I take incense because you know, in a business, you come across all kind of energy. And I like to keep the energy here purified. Mm, that smells good. Which one is this? Must be musk. Ooh. Oh, that's mm, that smells so good. Gonna light it. Lord, we welcome all positivity into this place today, removing any negativity. Let your spirit flow. We call down your anointing, your power to heal, to bless, and deliver in Jesus' name. It's just that simple. It's that simple. I'll be back. to drop off the box in the river and the and the you know the little lake there was two fishing in there hopefully they don't go digging for the box and take it out <laughs> that will be something everything up get all the systems up and running and um, get ready for class so this is me I've turned it on and um, I'm gonna try to chow down on breakfast before my students arrive I don't have anything to drink but I might I think I got water in the fridge in there Anyway, I'm at work. Have a blessed rest of your day, and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. It's after work. I'm headed home. I'm going to get dinner started um, for my family and I'm gonna get lunch started for Kayla because Caleb is the first person to get home and as soon as he step foot through the door Caleb be ready to eat he be ready to eat dinner lunch or whatever you want to call it so I think I'm gonna cook Caleb some garlic onion garlic and onion seasoned rice and then I cooked some pork chop last night and my husband really loved it so Pork chop again, it is, because I only cooked one piece last night. I told you guys already that I'm on a fast from meat. So I bought me some fruit 
and veggies that I'm going to be eating um, while I do this fast. Um, so yeah, that's what's, what's going on in my life. Things seem to be kind of balancing out in my life. But at the same time, like I just, I have had enough. And I say that with all due respect to God. I have had enough. <laughs> so if I could express to the Most High, the divine about my life over the past wow it's been six months already Jesus Christ if I can express to God my life over the past six months I would be saying things like enough already <laughs> stop it with the trials I had enough I'm ready for some balance. I'm ready for some peace. What is it that you're trying to teach me? What is it? What have I not learned, God? What do you want? Please have some mercy. Have some mercy on me. God, those of you that know the prayer of faith, please talk to God. Say, God, scratch your hands this way. Say, God, have mercy on angel. My mom, here I go again. Every time I be going through something, I, I talk about my mom. But my mom, one of her favorite things to say was, Lord, she didn't say have mercy. She would be like, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And I understand, you can't be politically correct when you be going through some shit like what I've been going through. You can't be like, Lord, have mercy. It's Lord, have mercy. Mm. So, yeah, uh, bring balance back, God. Restore, let me pray now. Lord, restore balance to my life. Peace, balance, and stuff like that. Um, I really feel like I've been in a Job experience. And this would be actually the second Job experience of my lifetime. I'm 44 years old. <sighs> God, you bragging on me, God? You bragging? Are you you bragging on me? You saying she can handle it? Is that what you're saying? You saying I can handle it? You you oh oh break it on? God, I'm here to tell you I can't do nothing without you. I can't do nothing without you, God. I, I really can, and I appreciate that you may be bragging on me and everything, and I humbly humbly respect the lessons that you're giving to me in this lifetime i don't know what i did in the past life but god i'm trying to get it right in this life so have some mercy on me have mercy on me on my soul i just heard a scripture in my mind that says that her soul shall make a boast in the lord something about the humble should hear the other be glad I don't know all I know is that I am really just waiting on God to say well done my good and faithful servant well done you know that's what we all want to hear God say at the end of the day well done I'll be satisfied with that I'll be satisfied with that. When God tells me after everything is said and done and I'm looking God in his face and he's looking me in my face. And he says to me, angel, well done, my good and faithful servant. Those words will mean so much to me. I know I haven't done and got everything right in this life. But I do feel for the most part that I answered the call. 
that God gave me for my life. I do feel that I've made an impact and um, I do feel that it's time to rest. That it's just, it's time. So, how God is going to manifest that rest, how God is going to manifest that good and well done, who knows? And I'm not suicidal, y'all. I'm just being real. I'm being real, having a real conversation with God that you guys just happen to be privy to. That's all. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because I'm almost to the house. I got a lot of things in the trunk that I got to bring in. Like I said, I got to get Caleb's um, lunch started. I got to get dinner started for my family. Um, and then I just want to lay down and rest. Just want to lay down and rest. And watch YouTube. So have a great, great, great day. Many blessings to you. Thank you for watching.